Hello, welcome back. So I'm having some issues with the game because it seems like some systems are not properly explained. So for example, you can modify your base, you put down the thing as the quest says to build your base. Well, probably this is a very bad base location. I don't know. I don't really care that much. And then when you're supposed to build stuff, you don't really have a lot of things to do because this is the trick. You have everything locked. And you need to go into the inventory system and then unlock stuff using the mimetics thing, which is in the crater, which is over here. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. I think there is there are too many menus that don't really do anything. So crafting of essential tools. Melting essential. That seems like it's important. And then the copper pickaxe, definitely important. And then this assembling from what I can see. You still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. We better gather some ore and logs. And then also the gear. As for healing, I guess. I'm not sure what the journaling is. So ammunition, armor, guns. Raid pants, and that doesn't sound too nice. As for the stoves, I guess this is for cooking, and I am not sure if we'll need that for now. I'm wondering where. Oh, wait, storage. We need two for that. Well, also, not very sure how you get the ciphers themselves. Ethics mastery. Yeah, a lot of the things are not fully explained, and I think it's a lot of. Ha! Going to be a lot of self. How should I put it? Hmm. I don't know. It's just trial and error. I guess that's the best way to explain it. Trial and error. Also, one of the more important things is, is that you need to get a garage to get a motorcycle. So, some people that already had a motorcycle, of course. So. It already feels like I'm falling behind other people. That's the supply workbench. Need a couple of ignites for that already. Eh? The game is steady. We have it. I guess we have to start making charcoal. Oh, okay, now well, let's see what I have or what I want to make. Scrap pickaxe, I don't think so. I want to do that. I don't think I have enough for the bandages. Sage ointment. That could be useful. What is the bird doing over here? Okay, this assembling bench. Okay, so for that I need a copper ingots, which I can only have by making the furnace. Sure, I guess we'll need two furnaces then. This one will have to make charcoal and the other one will have to make the copper. Yeah, the real life crafting timers are not so interesting, are they? Yes, I guess it's helpful. It's also night time, so as you can see the game has a day and night time cycle which I'm kind of enjoying. So the game is not as bad as I thought it would be, but I'm still not convinced how the full product will look like. Because if the game is a free-to-play game, it doesn't really solve the other problems, you know, like pay to win. Like people banding up, cheaters. There are still a lot of problems that are plaguing every game of this sort, so yeah. 
have seen, I haven't seen anything to address those issues. Maybe the developers will be very smart about that and they'll make a fair and fun game, but I don't know, I doubt it. Plus the balance, plus the grind, plus the... I don't know, there are a lot of things that can potentially go very very wrong. Okay, so that means we have all of the stuff we need to make the disassembly workbench. We have collected a lot of stuff that should be disassembled. Select all. That money old currency. More importantly, I saw that some of the things you got are super valuable, like... Let me see. And the facts, the clock. The clock. Which might give us more stuff than the other ones. So we have the supplies, we have the gear, we don't have the gear. Adhesives, okay, we need a lot of copper for that. Yeah, I guess this game will be very very fun once it's fully made, but for now it feels like it's missing a few things here and there. I guess we will have to chop down more wood as we are waiting. It seems like I went to another location, well, I went to another location just because the starter locations didn't seem to have many resources. This area doesn't have a lot of resources either, but the idea is to be close to resources, not to have the resources straight in your face. And when you go to the level 10 areas plus, you have uh, access to tin. Well, if you can farm it, that is. If you can mine it, because apparently you cannot mine it with a scrap pickaxe. You need a copper pickaxe. And also, that was the quest for that house over there. So what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for the gear. Workbench, I need three more copper. Very nice that you can move everything around so easily. Here, workbench. So, I guess we can make a pistol. So you need a frame, and then you need a, a recoil action. <laughs> then the pistol slide. Hey, it's a desert eagle. Probably the crossbow is a better choice when you're dealing with some with the trash mobs and some other stuff. But I'll just try to use the pistol. Not very clear. Well, I guess this is just the gear workbench and this is the ammo stuff. Copper pistol ammo and I guess you need gunpowder. I'm not sure how you make the gunpowder to be honest. I just found some gunpowder. The gunpowder, yeah, we can make a lot of gunpowder as well. So yeah, that's it. We're going to use a pistol from now on. Hmm, but as you saw, the main concern I have is that I don't have anything to store my stuff. I'll probably have to make the rest of the things. Oh, storage is over here, and yeah. Unlocking the mimetic screen. Oh, that's actually very easy to make then.
I guess make sure you have a lot of copper. I was in this zone. Have the gunpowder, the copper. Yeah. Okay, everything seems to be working out nicely, but yeah. He's going to need a lot of work and a lot of leveling up and a lot of other stuff. Uh, remember, the items you have have durability, so that will be an another thing I have to get used to. So durability is 100, damage is 102. You can put this over here, damage is 262, but I guess the magazine will be the problem. You can switch out between them, or swap between them. Also not sure when you can attack other players, or if you need to have something like, I don't know, you can tag yourself for PvP or something. Seems like the only way to do PvP these days is to simply have a toggle. Toggle PvP, and not do the base attacking. The base should always be protected, or let's say not be able to be attacked. That. Waste plastic, so I guess I need to find more waste plastic and glass. Glass seems like it's other hard to make. That's height. Yeah, so you hand down the deer, you do a lot of stuff, and then you can get the hide and the other stuff. Um, Sounds like you're mostly okay. Now I also want to do a quest. You find the wanderer in the first area of the game. It tells you to go to the lighthouse, and we'll be going to the lighthouse. You have left your territory, that sounds kind of sad. We'll also need a furnace and a disassembly bench to process the materials. Use the furnace to refine raw materials into something more practical. We'll need it for advanced items. This is a high level dungeon, but I'm not really sure I want to <laughs> try it right now. In my current state. Is there a way to craft everything? Probably not. This is the supply, so I guess we can make the copper pickaxe. Oh, I guess we needed the hide anyway over here. Bandages are made with antibiotics. Yeah, I guess it will get some time for me to get used to the system, or you just have to wait a kind of like a long time because this is the first things you can craft. Imagine how it will be for the other ones. God. I guess if it's showed, if it's showing as equipped, this is you what you'll be using automatically. Yeah, it is what I'll be using automatically. And that's kind of cruel. Sorry about the uh, that deer. It's it's a gameplay feature. Usually, I I don't want to hurt any animals, but in this game. I need a hide. <laughs> okay, you actually get a lot of information about the stuff you're building and the base and the other stuff. Really, really cool. No, I saw that we can make a vault or something over here. That's the garage over there, storage. Modding. Storage expansion. You have a lot of inventory space, that's that's for sure. You can inventory space is wow, it's very generous. Still, I wouldn't you know I wouldn't really force it. Private storage crate. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure this will not... I'm afraid someone will just come into my base and steal all of my stuff. And you also have the journey interface, which is kind of annoying because it's not really mentioned. A lot of places, store items, do all of that. So let's take all of the rewards for that. Achievements are over here, and journey is over here. Oh. That gives you energy and link experience or whatever that other thing is. The team has a lot of resources and that's what scares me. And why, what would prevent the developers from simply introducing very, 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 very bad practices? Make a couch. Tell our plan on that. Pumpkin seeds. We have a lot of interesting seeds over here. I guess we can put... Huh. I guess these things will drain your sanity, but why? <clears throat> no idea. And we have level up, what's that? what does that mean? I don't know. Does your character get better or do you just get more memetics as you level up? The specialization screen. Precision refining, I like how that sounds. So yeah, what, what, where is our bed? We don't have a bed. Functional, must be here. I guess we need to build one of those as well, one of these as well. What do you need to make glass? Well, a lot of charcoal and gravel, apparently. Nice. This is a strong foundation for us to build upon. I've set up a journey interface to help track our progress. For each task you complete, you'll unlock some supplies we can use. Let's assemble the pickaxe. Apparently we cannot disassemble the junk ones. No, no, maybe you can disassemble it. You can. I think more games need this feature or you have something to do with your spare material. Now let me see about that functional stuff again. I guess we can wait a little bit until we get enough glass. Ooh. That noise. I don't know. But yeah, let's, let's just go and do some quests because we have done a lot of stuff. the base so let's go outside of the base and yeah we got our copper pickaxe so we should be ready to do stuff this about the cams how many can you put down or what what was that I don't know, I guess you just have a lot of unlocks and a lot of stuff. I 
I don't remember how you put down that thing. It seems like it's a temporary base or something. Might be useful for me or... Might be a temporary thing. And yeah, this is why you need... Do I need a motorcycle? Yeah, kind of an annoying area, I don't know. It seems like I'll have to travel a lot to reach obvious places. But then again, like I said, I just came here to get to the next year of resources and that's the copper apparently and I got it. I'm also pressing and holding shift, uh, which is not something I should do because I just have to press it once. I find it that we're still in underwear, basically. Yes, interesting. I think I can climb around here. Okay, nice. So yeah, that was basically the entire base building that is currently, well, available to us in the beginning. But as you can see, you'll probably need to spend hours. So yeah, this is definitely not a single player game and you have to cooperate with other people. Well, I'm not sure how... I guess it depends on a lot of other things. Yeah, we'll just have to see. But it really seems like you should play this with someone else at least. So someone does the base building, someone does the resource gathering, yeah, like in any other game. I like this area a lot, I'll have to fa- I'll have- well... I don't want to farm it, I'll have to explore it a bit better later. Definitely not human. Definitely not for my level. <laughs> Big guy over there, do you see that? Yeah, definitely I'm going to need a motorcycle, so let's just go and do the quest, explore the first area. I guess it's kind of redundant to build your base in a location you cannot reach since you will be you will have to travel a lot but since since the inventory capacity is so generous I'll try to do it like this. Yeah I'm not sure if someone can just kill me and take all of my stuff but yeah. But I understand PvP even as it is it's supposed to be a group thing against other things or I don't know we'll just have to see. Probably to let me know that I can tag myself for PvP at some point. Again, this is not supposed to be one of those games where it's full PvP or stuff like that. It's just supposed to have PvP features. A lot of cars are over here. You can search the trunk for loot. And somehow, someway, this is the best way to get material, searching the trunks of cars. Interesting. Well, I can see why people like the game, but like I said, will they fix all of the normal problems that come with a game like this, like monetization issue, pay to win, pay to play, I don't know, teaming up, cheaters, Grinding, RNG or 
luck based <laughs> equipment to earning. Probably there are not a lot of MMOs made recently just because people are so weary and so suspicious of, of every MMO that would come out. Especially because not even the big companies like, you know, New World couldn't really make fun MMO. Yeah, that's... I think this is the little guy I unlocked as well. So as you can see, they have a motorcycle over here. I'm stealing his shellfish. Yeah, so this is how your base is supposed to look like. Why is it a shell rock? Yeah, I'm pretty sure people can just steal stuff from my base if I don't cover it up like that. But that seems like it's a massive project anyway. I don't know, the game is relaxing in a way, probably people will enjoy the PvE a lot more than the PvP. I don't want to be near contaminated water. This is probably sulfur, yes. I like it's a a very good idea to have a house near the beach, since a lot of resources spawn over here and it's pretty much empty land. Just a bit thirsty, don't worry. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you, the reason I chose that place specifically is because it... it it has the exact same um, ruins with paintings and painting supplies in them that I wanted to build a base in the beginning in the first episode and I couldn't do it. So <laughs> that's another reason I chose it, but I guess I completely forgot to show that part. These enemies are interesting enough. <laughs> but I, it really seems like you're definitely going to need an SMG, an automatic weapon. The pistol is kind of weak for what it's supposed to do. It only does half of the damage of the crossbow. I guess that's normal. Not sure what the idea is with the collectibles. Doesn't seem like you would need them or want them. One of the so called teleport towers. What do you do? You just activate them? Yeah. <clears throat> so you do need to unlock them. Well, I guess I should have unlocked that one before I left. Um, oh well. Like I said, I don't mind. It's, it's a journey. It's going to be a lot of stuff to learn and a lot of stuff to see. I would say the game is pretty nice looking. They kind of managed to make the game look pretty without overtaxing the player systems, but at the same time, this is just the starter area, and you should never really make up your mind or make up, I put it, a review or kind of like advice for someone else in, if you don't um, play more of the game because. That's what developers are doing this day, they are basically investing 90% of the time, resources and uh, imagination and creation in the first 10% of the game. And yeah, sometimes the best areas are the ones you see in the beginning. Sadly. Wait, so how do you get to the lighthouse? There is kind of like an area delimitation.
cannot attack players, so that's why I'm not even attempting. Yeah, fuck the motorcycle wouldn't have helped anyway since I would have ended up abandoning it over here. It's like my max HP is reduced because of the contaminated water I'm inhaling. So you do get experience for finding new areas. What is this all about? I guess you'll be able to get Stardust if you have the... Re I don't know, I don't know, or maybe that's gain over time and you can pick it up. Also seems like a very good base location. Seems like some or most of the car trunks will give you the... <clears throat> portable fuel mix, which I think it's needed for the motorcycle, so it's not going to run on air. Yeah, it seems like they have a lot of balancing features that actually play into the game. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so basically 10 minutes building in the dark. Yeah, see, you really need an SMG. <laughs> and then 10 minutes running around. I guess the SMG wouldn't have been hard to unlock, but I am trying to prioritize everything right now. So I'm trying to build all of the basic stuff in the beginning. So when I go back to my base, I have all of the materials, all of the points, and all of, all of the required items. And to be honest, the built-up locations like this, they seem impressive, they seem to have a lot of wood, but clearly there's nothing in them. Okay. All of the loot is marked and all of the other stuff is marked as well, so... Okay, I guess we cannot go. If we just have to tell him the password. But that's it. Uh, that seems like it's a little of a short quest. So far, what we've got won't do much against those deviants out there. We need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. I've marked their locations on your map. Right, so you can climb up over here, but an invisible wall. That's sad. Okay, let's do another quest. Yeah, kind of disappointed by that, so I guess you're just getting a lot of resources that we don't really know what they're going to be used for.
There's a type on it. That's peculiar. GVG, I guess that's... I always assume that's PvP. Why is it GVG? I'm trying to figure out what that means. Eh, don't know, don't care. I guess that will only be active in certain areas, yeah, so I guess that's the entire thing near the minimap in the upper right corner. Yeah, that one over there looks rather peculiar. Let's go and check it out. Oh, I thought that was a fish or a turtle or something. It was just a player. I was about to try and shoot it. I assume you can also get flagged for PvP anywhere if you want. I don't know. We'll see. So this is basically the entire gameplay loop of the game. You will be able to access certain events, but mostly it's going to be quests and while doing the quest you'll be gathering materials and hoping for chests, otherwise not much to do or to see around the map. And we need to take care of our resources as well soon enough for survival. you want don't make me go back there pilgrim oh man timed events nobody likes that nobody wants to do those it's now it Yeah, let's do something else. I mean, yeah, just wait, what, one hour until you can do the event? No, thank you. For the quest. The fuck combat has been very, very light. I mean, you saw what it looks like at the higher areas. Bunker over here. I guess nothing because there's no loot. <laughs> this is to get sidetracked, I guess. Oh, that's one of the bosses. Yeah, that's one of the bosses. I assume it's a bad idea to shoot it. Yeah, we should probably just, you know, let it make it rounds, getting in that thing. So what's the face and what's the back on that thing? Eh, who knows. Okay, a lot of walking around as it would be expected. Go to the monolith ruin to search for supplies. And the supplies I hope will be supplies, you know, not, not cosmetic stuff or other weird things. I don't know, I kind of like that all of the items we can pick up are properly marked. Can we just get those machine guns from the jeeps? Probably not.
Yeah, a bit disappointed that there's not much between the events and the locations, only a few materials and a few enemies, and sometimes the random chest. But as you can see, most of the times it's not even that. I guess you have to enter it from the other side, for sure. I think I'll have time to do it today, yeah, maybe tonight. You don't actually enter the location, you just skip by it. What did it say? I don't know. Oh, you're supposed to pick up junk from this area. Okay. That's my whole purpose, right? Pick up junk. <laughs> like think the supply crates are very important to get. Okay, so this was not actually a quest area, but more like a tutorial area. Well, that's disappointing. I guess he's trying to teach me that items and loot are hard to get or something. Yeah, I think people will <laughs> will kind of be bored by this launcher. What in the launcher? You have my interesting my interest now, game. You have my full attention. Get your Who looks like such a creeper? You're pretty cocky for hold on. Interesting. I'm no, Mary. There are I came here to investigate. Don't tell me you're for a mayfly. I'm going to give while you're doing that. Once you're done, after all. Thank you. So another mayfly survived, yet I can't remember. My memory's been patchy ever since Mitsuko revived me. Just to be safe, it's better not to share everything we know with that woman, especially about Mitsuko. That blueprint is rock solid, though. We can use it to make a real gun. Let's check your memetics and start by building a. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't have teleported back home, but. I'm trying to follow the quest line because if you don't follow the quest line, I have a feeling we'll skip a lot of free rewards like this and getting a free gun seems like it's pretty massive. The disassembly bench will let you take objects you've scavenged and break them down into useful materials. Great, we can use that blueprint to make both guns and ammo. If you want to make ammo though, You'll need to do it at a synthesis bench. Anyway, that's it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, I need to close it manually.